what if my titties get botched? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allison. If not, thank you so much for tuning back in. Today's vlog is very um, exciting for me, but then also like really scary. I am very anxious. Today's the day before my surgery, so I just wanted to like start a vlog today just to show you guys like everything I've done so far and everything I'm gonna be doing to prep for my surgery tomorrow. I I have never really had like any major surgery outside of like my wisdom teeth, so yeah, this is very scary for me, but I'm being positive, everything's gonna turn out fine. Yeah, God's got me. Like, yeah, basically everything's gonna be okay. I am, however, still very scared for like recovery. I feel like I used to have a better pain tolerance before I had a child, but weirdly after having a child, I, I kind of feel like I turned into a little bit of a baby. Like I can't even stand having my blood drawn anymore. Like I, I feel like I just did enough of that to the point where I'm just like, wow. But anyways, so today's Thursday, my surgery is tomorrow morning. I cannot wait to see what like, what, like everything's gonna turn out like. I am pretty anxious about that too because I'm like, what if my titties get botched? So it is currently 5.50 p.m. So it's like a little bit later in the evening. I had work today, but I'm obviously like not working tomorrow. And we are gonna run like a few errands, just like some last minute stuff that we needed to do outside of the house before we settle ba back in. So. So for my surgery, I had like a little checklist of like things I needed to do and then also some things I needed to buy to help with my recovery. So I'm going to haul all of that later in like one place just so I can show you guys what all of those things are. But I did my COVID test yesterday because they wanted like a negative COVID test before the day of surgery. So I did it yesterday. I got the results earlier today, so I just need to email that over to the office. Whenever they had called me today, they had actually said I could also just like take the results on my phone tomorrow morning. And then also, yeah, they wanted to make sure that I wasn't like sick or anything. My cold is going away. Uh, my throat is like 10,000 times better. I don't even have a sore throat anymore. So honestly, that's like pretty much it. I kind of want to eat like a lot of things today. Like I'm acting like I'm not going to be able to eat for like two weeks. I know I'll be able to like after a few days. I am somebody that generally gets nauseous, like just in general. And I remember whenever I was under anesthesia with like my wisdom teeth, I definitely got nauseous. So that's something I'm expecting, which is why I'm like, let me just go ahead and enjoy a meal today before I go through that tomorrow. Plus, I can't really eat anything until after my surgery. Like I, the last meal basically I can, I can eat is like before midnight today. And then I can't eat anything or drink anything, which I think the hardest part for me from all of that is gonna be water because i get really really thirsty especially at night so not excited about that let me grab everything and put it in one place i may show you right now or i may show you when we get back from the store but i'll definitely show you like all the things that i had to get and then i'm not exactly sure if i should have bought like my own bra like my own compression bra just because i think my nurse said they would like give it to me on saturday so they won't put one on me tomorrow she said they'll do it like on my one day pre-op appointment that's when she's gonna like put the bra on me so yeah i'll i'll ask them tomorrow but i may go ahead and like just buy an extra one depending on like if they give me one because I, I don't want to just wear like one bra the whole time so yeah that's the plan for right now and i'm wearing that set finally i showed it in like one of my past videos this is a set that i got from target and i really like it it's really warm because i haven't been doing a good job of like wearing like really warm clothes and i'm always freezing like i'm not in the house which to me that doesn't make sense so i'm trying to do a better job of like actually dressing appropriately and like if i'm cold i just need to put on like warm clothes so yeah anyways Guys, okay so it is much much later in the day like really really later in the day it is currently 12 36 a.m so yeah, it's been a, a long evening, honestly, but I was just doing like some chores around and you know my philosophy, like whenever I'm just trying to do things quickly, like vlogging slows me down. So we picked up dinner from my 
actually our favorite burger place here in Dallas called Skyrocket. So that was good. It was like a nice little meal before I am all sicky tomorrow. And then we basically just did like the baby's nighttime routine. And then I went to go fold away some laundry because I had a lot of laundry that was like unfolded. So I was just like folding that up and hanging up some clothes. And then also just so I could like go through my clothes and pick up my um, the clothes I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. And then also I'll go and like pick out the clothes I'm going to wear for the next few days. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. But I got this bag right here from the closet because I think that's where I'm going to pack my stuff. Um, the last time I used this was when we were traveling. So I'm just going to like empty it out. There's like my coloring book and stuff because I like the color whenever we travel. There's like a random Father's Day card, some bobby pins, um, one of my favorite pair of socks because I love puns. It just says avocado. <laughs> and um, yeah, honestly, just like the most random things in here, like there's a lint roller, some wipes, some of these things I'm going to leave in here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take this bag into like the surgery center with me. I'm just going to pack it and then leave it in the car and then i'll just take out what i need from the bag but um i'll make sure that everything is like close by that i might need just to make things easier for both my husband and i so yeah that's what we're gonna do Ooh, brush the lashes girl every time i find one of these it just makes me want to brush my lashes but and then you guys i always have like pens in my bag so yeah i just have two random pens some beauty supply store lip gloss this is not even meant to be moisturizing at all so i'm going to change that out with like a lip gloss that i actually love i have a tampon i have a tea and condiment kit um this is from when we stayed at the west end <laughs> and then honestly everything else is just like really random that's about it so i'm actually going to empty that out and then kind of like prep it for surgery but before i do that i want to show you guys some things that i got to prep so I got some cough drops just because everyone that I was reading about like, on Reddit said that your throat gets very, very dry after surgery. So um, apparently like cough drops and ice cream and all that stuff, things that make your throat feel like they're being soothed, feel good. So I got some cough drops um, and we could sort out the ice cream bit a little bit later. And then also um, they recommended that I start taking vitamin c like the 500 milligrams pills twice daily so i got this big tub from costco um this one has like 500 tablets in it so i've just been taking this twice daily and then also they had asked me to get like some maxi pads and specifically like the kotex ones i'm not exactly sure why like that specific brand but um yeah those are basically for like this side of my boobs right here because my surgeon's gonna be doing like lipo for the side of my boobs. So that's what she said those pads were for. And then also of course they gave me like that sterilizing soap for your body. So um, my nurse also asked me to start using that like three days before my surgery. So I used that also like earlier today. Um, it's It really is drying and she did tell me that it was gonna be drying, but for tomorrow morning, obviously they say to use it and not to wear like any, um, lotion or deodorant or any perfumes like just basically that dry soap and that's it and then also i got this neck pillow which weirdly for like um as much as we travel or even as little as we travel really um it's surprising that i don't have a neck pillow but i think i like never replaced my last one so i just really haven't had one so i got another one from amazon this one had a lot of reviews on Amazon, but coincidentally, like two days ago, um, YouTube recommended a video by McKenna Walker. I think her last name's Walker, if I'm not mistaken. And she had like a mastopexy, like a breast lift. And she had said that the pillow was really helpful for her. It was just so funny because it's like, oh wow, she also just had like breast surgery. And then literally the time I was like watching her video, I was wearing the same exact pajamas that she was wearing in the video. And I was like, what a quinky dink. But I can definitely see the logic for having like a neck pillow, especially if you're going to be like sleeping upright and like sitting upright a lot. And I also got some like retainer jewelry. These are like the plastic ones. I'm not even sure if the camera is gonna like pick that up, but 
yeah i know the camera is having like a hard time picking that up but i'll also try and insert like the amazon picture for what they look like but this is just like the plastic retainer jewelry and um i have like quite a bit of piercings with like both my ears and my nose but i specifically got this for my nose just because the last time i took it out um it ended up closing up and it was only for like one night and having it re-pierced when it was kind of like raw was just it was a nightmare i don't want to go through that again so i just got some of this and my nurse said i could wear like the plastic ones just to like replace my regular jewelry and then i could change of course change it back after surgery um this has like 36 pieces in it so and then also they are all like different sizes so honestly they like work for other piercings i may also use it for like one of my cartilage piercings that has been like inflamed this past week so yeah also my doctor's office also recommended that i take a lot of protein like she emphasized the protein and for her she said it was just easier to just do like the protein drinks but i could also do like protein bars and then also make like protein shakes like protein powder but i just decided to do this and i got this case from costco the other day when we went and yeah it's just like chocolate flavored protein and like one bottle has like 30 grams of protein which is pretty good and then i was also told to like avoid sodium which that's like pretty obvious i'm not sure if i'm missing anything i don't think so i was actually just going through like my pre-surgery booklet before i started filming this part just to make sure i wasn't forgetting anything or like anything that i needed to pack so um they did call me today just to like remind me about the covid test and then just to remind me to wear like a button down shirt or like a zip up shirt so i wear a button down shirt and then i may take like a zip up jacket to put on top just because it is like really really cold right now in dallas okay so while i'm sitting here i wanted to show you guys a few clothes that i picked up okay so these clothes were actually from black friday but some things did not get delivered until like three days ago so i'm just going to show you guys what i picked up i was honestly going to do like um a closet reorganization video and then just do like a little haul of the things that i picked up but the closet organization is going to have to wait until after surgery because homegirl just ran out of time but i'm still going to show you the clothes because i don't want it to be like too much later since i received them it's just not gonna make sense so i only got two things from zara and i'm gonna show you those first first up we have this pink poplin shirt like i could live in button down shirts and i just got this one in like this really bright pink color which funny enough i am wearing a very similar pink right now um i don't know what's happening like i feel like i'm going through like a pink era which that doesn't shock me too much like before my favorite color was black my favorite color was pink so yeah i feel like i'm always gonna ha have a soft spot for like the color pink and there's just like something really feminine about it and like girly that i like these days i really like this shirt and i got this one in a size large because i wanted it to fit like kind of oversized because i was planning on wearing like some leather leggings and that one was on sale for black friday i'll put the price on the screen once i check my app because i don't remember what i paid the other thing which is like the last thing because i only got two things is this jacket right here i fell in love with this jacket when i got to try it on in the store but i remember that they actually didn't pick it up because the lines were like ridiculously long and i'm glad i waited because i was gonna pay a regular price for it but I ended up getting it on sale for 30% off, so which was pretty good considering I was gonna pay like full price for it, but it is such a beautiful jacket and it is also very, very flattering. And yeah, it's just right up my alley. Like I love tweed jackets, I love black and white clothes, so that one's a winner for me. All right, and then the next things I'm gonna show you guys are from Mango, and I picked up quite a few things from Mango. I'm gonna show you guys that and before i jump to like the mango stuff so like they tell you and i think this goes for like a lot of surgeries to not eat anything after midnight or like not drink anything when i tell you my throat is so dry because i have developed a habit of like just constantly sipping on water and like all this talking and not drinking any water is killing my throat but i guess from mango i actually have two boxes i have like the smaller box right here this one only has two items this is the stuff that i ordered first while i was like still thinking about it but the first thing i want to show you guys is <laughs> embarrassing another popular shirt and this one is in white but i just really liked 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I feel like the color in this is a little bit different. This kind of gives me like Peter Pan vibes. So yeah, it's just also like this really long button-down shirt. This one is even much longer than the pink one. Let me stand up so you guys can see. Yeah, so this one just like looks like that and it's too pretty long. It has like one pocket over here and no other pockets but i don't really wear like leggings a lot but when i do i like to wear them with like these kinds of shirts just to like dress them up a little bit next thing i got from mango which this is one of my favorite things i've gotten from mango in a while is this military green is this the military green honestly i feel like it's kind of like lighter than that but it is this green trench coat and yeah honestly it's just like a classic trench coat but not in like the classic trench coat color and it just looks like this. I would have tried it on, but like the pullover I'm wearing is uh, like very puffy, so I don't think that's gonna work. But it just looks like that, and it's also like pretty long. And I have an all black outfit that I have in mind for this to try it on with, and I'm really, really excited to like wear that because I'm like, wow, that's giving Inspector Boss Bay. Right, and then I placed a second order from Mango. So that's a box I'm gonna be showing you guys. Now these shoes I'm about to show you, the first time both my sister and my partner saw these shoes, they said, what the F are those? But like, hear me out. They look so much cuter when you put them on. Like the vision was there, but they really look like they're like clown shoes because they're huge. Like, look at the so <laughs> look at the sole of the shoes. And the camera, I feel like is even making them look much smaller than they actually are. But they're just like these leather sandals and I really have always liked the style of these and yeah I actually think they're like really pretty and I think they would look really nice with like a nice vacation dress or like a nice white dress in the summer so that's kind of like what I had in mind for them and honestly they fit pretty cute it's just they just look like they're really huge and I am normally a size seven and a half or an eight and yeah these are in a size Oh, well, they're in size 39, European 39. And then also they're like real leather and it says it's sustainable leather. So, you know, two thumbs up for me. All right, and then I got another pair of shoes from Mango. These are just like some trainers and they look like that. I really, really liked these. I was actually gonna buy these when they were full price, but I remember they had sold out as well. And then they also had them in like a really light pink color, but I thought the black would definitely go more with like more of my stuff. And then I just like that the sole is like this, um, beige color it's showing up like a little bit cream on camera but it's like much darker in person but I really really like these I've tried them on and they're so comfortable I took a few steps like around the house and so comfortable next for mango actually all I got like the next three things are all like pairs of pants first thing is just this pair of leather pants right here and these are like a wide leg at the bottom you guys can see so they just like flare out like that but they're very flattering on and i got to try them except they were kind of like tight around the waist but that's something that's going to be remedied very soon so yeah also those were on sale i think the regular price was like 60 dollars, and i believe i paid 30. next thing i got is just a pair of like black pants these look like dress pants which i mean yeah they are dress pants they're just like really light and then the leg is like flared like that so they they're like straight and then it just kind of like flares towards the ankle and yeah these are also really nice on very flattering and even though i'm not going into the office anymore sometimes like when i'm going for like that look like i like to wear stuff like that the last thing i got from mango is a pair of black jeans if it's not like clear that i love black i hope it is not because i love black black is my favorite color i feel powerful and wow empowered when i wear black all right so it's just a pair of straight leg pants and they just look like that um nothing too crazy they're honestly just like very regular but i love how long they are and they're very very flattering on I'm sorry I didn't record like a video from when I tried these on just because I wanted to try them on first just to be sure like what I was going to keep or not because I don't film like clothes in my video unless I'm going to keep them. So if I try on something and I'm going to return it, I'm not even going to bother showing it to anybody because I don't really get the point in doing that. That's all that I got from Mango. You guys, my throat is so dry. I'm like, I need just like a spit of water. Wow, it's insane. <sighs> 
I don't get it. How am I gonna survive throughout the night? And I know when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be so thirsty because I usually wake up like sometimes in the middle of the night or like right when I first wake up and I just want to take like a chug of water and I do the same thing before bed. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna survive this night, but my throat is super duper dry. Anyway, so I'm gonna put those clothes back in like maybe the one big box from Mango. And something I wanted to do tonight was just try on like maybe five pieces of clothing like before I get my reduction. But I'm not gonna put this in this video because kind of what I want to do is like um, do the try on for those clothes like before my reduction and then also film like another clip after just to show like a before and after so I really want to do that tonight because I mean like that's the last night that I can do this it's the last night I am going to have these boobies and honestly um, I kind of hate that like it had to get to like to wear a reduction it was even like an option for me because these are I'm not even going to cap like these are beautiful titties yeah it sucks and i just hope that they stay beautiful after because yeah it's it's not anything like me hating what they look like or anything like that because i think i think they look great but they were making me miserable because they were just like really heavy for my frame really heavy just all together and my back was dying so 